Hey there! Before we begin, I have a quick announcement I'd love to make. For several months now, we've been toiling in secret on a special new series discussing conspiracies after a massive surge of you guys asking for it. So we thought we'd try our hand at the subject and see how it goes. Now, normally we've been posting a new parable every Wednesday, but now Patch Parables is shifting to Saturday morning because who doesn't like Saturday morning cartoons? And this will free up our Wednesday slot for our new mini series, The Conspiracy Theory of Everything. The first official episode will debut very soon, but in the meantime, here's a short and very interesting conspiracy to get you started. And with that, cue pitch drop. So there's a conspiracy theory that's been making rounds on social media lately. Are the Trump family time travelers? It all began when someone was on the Library of Congress archive website and came across a book called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey that was published in 1893 by a man called Lockwood Ingersoll, if that is his real name. Actually, he published three books in his Trump science fiction series, Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonderful Dog Bulger, The Underground Journey, and The Last President. The Underground Journey is about a little boy called Baron Trump. Well, actually, his name is Wilhelm Heinrich Sebastian von Trump, but he goes by Baron who finds a secret underground portal and time travels to different time periods. Now, the immediate and glaring thing here is that Baron is the name of President Trump's youngest son. If you look at drawings of the character in the underground journey and compare them to pictures of real life Baron Trump, the resemblance is uncanny, but we haven't even gotten started yet. In the book, little Baron Trump has a mentor and father figure, a man called Don. The events of this book take place in Russia, and besides Donald Trump's famous friendship with Putin, Melania Trump, President Trump's wife and mother of modern day Baron Trump, was born in Novo Mesto, Slovenia, before she moved to the US. So four years later, Ingersoll published the sequel, The Last President. An obvious coincidental name aside, this is where things get really weird. The main plot of this book is about a very wealthy man who lives on Fifth Avenue in New York who decides to run for president, and naturally no one expects him to win. As you might expect, located at 725 Fifth Avenue in New York today is none other than Trump Tower. In the book, shortly after the mysterious wealthy man wins an election that no one expected him to win, he's inaugurated and starts selecting his cabinet. One of the first people he chooses is another mysterious gentleman who goes by the name Mr. Pence. Granted, in the book, he's given the post of Secretary of Agriculture rather than Vice President, but still, what's really going on here? After his inauguration, since no one expected him to win, the city of New York and the wider US in general erupts into violence, with people rioting and damaging property left, right, and center. So naturally, the new president signed some new executive orders to better control the people. Now, the next part of this theory gets even more crazy. Today, everyone knows about the forgotten physicist Nikola Tesla. In 1943, he died bankrupt, in love with a pigeon, don't ask, and all alone in room 3327 of the Hotel New Yorker at the age of 86 from a blood clot. Now, while this theory usually says something along the lines of Tesla having designs for a time machine, this isn't strictly true. In fact, he was generally pretty critical of Einstein's theory of relativity, which is one of the main theories that time travel is generally based off of, as he didn't believe space could be curved. The thing is, he actually claimed to have developed his own theory regarding matter and energy that he started working on in 1892, and in 1937, at age 81, he claimed in a letter to have completed a dynamic theory of gravity that would put an end to idle speculations and false conceptions about curved space. However, this theory was never found in any more of his writings, seemingly disappearing from any record. After he died, the US government took possession of all of his inventions, theories, and files in the interest of seeing what he knew. The department that took everything was known as the Office of Alien Property. Alien as in foreign, not as in grace. And after they took a look at everything, 
they handed everything left over to the FBI. Long story short, the FBI hired an outside engineer from MIT to make sense of everything Tesla had, especially his inventions. And the man that they hired, drum roll please, was none other than John G. Trump, the late uncle of President Trump. After studying everything, John Trump determined that there was nothing dangerous in Tesla's inventions that could hurt the US government. So this conspiracy theory goes, perhaps John Trump lied to the government to keep Tesla's theories to himself and out of the hands of the government, perhaps even to help his own family, who then not only time traveled through time to set up their vast empire of wealth, but also cement their power in society. Now, there's one more thing to this theory, but we're not sure where it fits in. See, President Trump's mother's name is Mary, and his father's middle name is Christ. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. But what's more, his birthday of June 14th, 1946 was marked by a total lunar eclipse. So some intense energies were definitely going on back then regardless. Further, a lot of the early parts of these books, especially the first one, recount Baron Trump's adventures into the hollow earth meeting with secret civilizations and dealing with the natives there. I'm not saying that this means Trump is either the next Jesus or the Antichrist, but as far as conspiracies go, there are ideas about both of these on either side of the equation. Now, I know how all this sounds. It's a pretty wild theory that the Trump family wrote these books or somehow influenced Ingersoll, or maybe Ingersoll wrote his books as an expose to warn us. Whether it's true or not, it certainly is one hell of a coincidence. If you want to see a funny slant on it, Jamie Fuller wrote in Portico that the character of Baron Trump is often precocious, restless, and prone to get in trouble, often mentions his massive brain, and has a personalized insult for most of the people that he meets, which sounds awfully familiar to someone who shall not be named. And apparently, Lay Scott is currently working on a movie adaption of the books that we might see in the coming years. So keep an eye out for that. So what do you think? Could Trump be a time traveler? I mean, what a crazy idea. Yet, maybe sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Strangest of all might even be the connection to Back to the Future 2, in which Biff uses a time machine and basically becomes Donald Trump. And we should probably say too, that interpreting this theory should probably not be so rigid and literal. Perhaps the nature of time travel isn't physically traveling, but ascending of one's consciousness or ideas and information through time to the past and future. There's a lot of ways that this could go. And even if it is all just one big coincidence and nothing more, you gotta admit, it's really fun to entertain. Seriously, they could make a movie about it. Oh, wait, I guess they already did, 30 years ago. Now at Spirit Science, we, like many of you, have been following along with the myriad of conspiracy theories and everything going on right now. And what we find perhaps the most exciting is how there is an intersection of these topics and our spiritual awakening. In our upcoming series, The Conspiracy Theory of Everything, we will attempt to look at the greatest conspiracies of all time and how they all collectively fit together to paint a picture of our evolving consciousness. For us, it's not so much about definitively saying this or that is true, there's plenty of that going on already. What excites us is seeing the bigger picture, elevating our own consciousness so that we can address the seemingly unbelievable and sometimes disturbing realities of the world with an open heart and mind and the intention to transmute everything through the heart and create a better life and reality for all of us to share. And with that, we're looking forward to going down the rabbit hole with you. Much love and namaste.